My name is Paul Goldsman. I am one of the guidance counselors at the Queens High School of Teaching, and I'm also the coordinator of the Habitat for Humanity Club in the Fur community. My name is Vernon Jerome, and I'm going as Dean of the Fur community. My name is Miss Dean, and I'm chaperone for the 2012 Habitat for Humanity trip to New Orleans, Louisiana. My name is Camille Gardner, and I'm the assistant principal of the Frere Small Learning Community. My name is Ian Hart. Alexa Francis. I'm Alfredo Castro. Thompson Punk. She's Dion Matthews. Ahmed Hussain. Evan Rosenberg. Della Simon. John Buse. Mark Shea. Jasmine Hernandez. Jessica C. Datoy. Tishona Taff. Bo Gennetti. Shannon Foley. Nicholas Timothy. Uba Patel. Alexander Kupalithis. Andrew Alicock. And James Murphy. I don't care what people say. I don't care what people say. I'm gonna build a house today. I'm gonna build a house today. We're gonna be staying in Louisiana for six nights and seven days. Uh, our students will be working for four long days. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. A typical day in Louisiana during Habitat Humanity trip is going to be waking up really early in the morning, um, getting ready, putting on sweatpants, t-shirts, hoodies, work shoes, gloves, uh, boots, um, eating a quick breakfast, hopping on a bus, and going to one of the locations. Habitat for Humanity is a worldwide organization uh, which basically allows people to build homes uh, for those that need them. People that want houses or homes through Habitat for Humanity have to do what's called sweat equity. And what that means is they must do volunteer work with Habitat for Humanity on someone else's house so that when they want their own house, they've already performed the service um, of doing it for someone else. It all emanated from the flood of almost five years ago. Louisiana is under sea level, beneath sea level. And as such, when the storm came on, it flooded the bowl, it flooded the, the, uh, the ninth ward, and as such, people had to be on their rooftops in order to save their lives. Hi, I'm Durant Quinn. Welcome to New Orleans. I'm here to answer any questions you have, give you a little insight about my experience with um, Hurricane Katrina. It was pretty rough, terrible experience. We were able to take um, like maybe changing clothes for two days, some food, and we returned home. Um, half of the house was damaged due to a large oak tree in the backyard that smashed through the kitchen, my kids' room, and the bathroom. So if we would have stayed, I don't know if it would have been tragic. But we moved to Texas after that to get um, some better assistance. The assistance was like more speed, <clears throat> more better in um, Texas. So we stayed there, got an apartment. But I came back to New Orleans to help help out and rebuild. Just the lives lost. It was from young to old. Medications were not available. Just like your basic needs in life were not available to them when needed. Billions of damages were rendered. Thousands of people were displaced. About 1,700 people lost their lives. Over f several hundred thousand animals were lost. Um, and the problem is, a lot of those people still don't have homes, affordable homes and safe homes. It was more tragic than I thought it was. They knew it was coming, but they didn't have anywhere to go, so they had to stay where they were until the hurricane came. Seeing people like, with their houses just being empty shells, with nothing in them, all their memories from their past just erased. There used to be full homes like we live in, and now there's nothing there. There's just the foundation of the home. The city is still in ruins. There's still areas that haven't been fixed yet, um, and they still need a lot of assistance. So that's what we're going to do. Well, we're about less than an hour away uh, before we board the plane. Everything went smoothly. The kids were on time. They're excited. I'm excited. And I guess uh, we're about to get on the plane and, and we're all fired up to go. Pumped. Eccentric. Excited. Excited. Wonderful. Enthusiastic. Yay. Tired. Awesome. She's excited. I feel excited. <laughs> excited. 
ready, excited. I'm feeling pretty lucky. Bored. Nervous. Pretty relaxed. When we got off the plane, there were no, um, there were no buildings at all. There were, um, very, there were no lights too at that, this part when we were driving in the cheese bus to our church. Um, there were no lights at all. Day one, we're starting off at the ReStore, and we're going to be engaging in our morning circle, and then on to our first uh, first house. I am so tired already. We're ready to work. Yeah. I'm Monica Bell. I'm the Volunteer Services Coordinator for Habitat for Humanity, St. Tammany West. Um, I've been here since October, and um, my job is to pretty much make sure that all of my volunteers are okay, safe. Um, we have a lot of jobs that are going on as far as um, our construction jobs, so we have to make sure that we have enough volunteers to fill the bill site so we can get work done. And so far so good. We've been very successful. Um, we have closed on 205 homes in our 30 years. So we're moving, we're moving along very well. And we just try to keep as many volunteers out here that are willing and that are dedicated. And luckily we, we have those. And um, it's a blessing. So thank you guys for coming out. And we hope to see you again. All right, my name's Craig. I'm the construction supervisor on the site. Get ready for insulation that's going to go in tomorrow. As far as uh, putting some straps in, uh, putting the ceiling in the AC closet, uh, sealing the windows and the walls and all the holes in the house. And uh, as far as the rest of the week goes, what we're going to be doing is trying to finish the floor in the other house. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's going to probably take us the rest of the week. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm an AmeriCorps construction crew leader. I'm from Columbia, Maryland. I'm down here in Louisiana helping Habitat for Humanity build houses for families who are in need of them. Uh, currently, we are working on putting in a new subfloor and fixing up the whole house for them. And we're also working on the house next door, trying to get that ready, which should be ready in a couple months. And yeah, we're just trying to you know, give a good home to people who need them. Hi, I'm Brendan Murphy. I'm a construction supervisor with Habitat for Humanity. And so far this week, we have crowned the dirt on the entire property. We have uh, installed termite shields on all of the stack block piers. We have caulked those termite shields, and we are almost finished with putting the 6x6 sill uh, going all the way around the house. And by the end of the week, we should finish all of the floor framing and may get started on uh, decking the floor as well. I was in group A. In the first day, we actually started building a house. Like, we had, like there was absolutely nothing. What we had to do was basically put, like, level out the dirt that was there and we actually had to start cutting out pieces for the foundation. We also had to take out pieces of the structures that was already previously there. And we even had to start, we even had to take out a sledgehammer and start destroying rocks because it got in the way. We pretty much did most of it in one day. Going on to the work site right now, we're on the bus. I'm actually not going to work because due to my concussion, I'm going to the ReStore. My name is Joey Maddox. I work at the Habitat for Humanity St. Tammany West Restore. Our mission as Habitat is to build affordable housing for lower income families or families that can't afford housing on their own. Uh, we've been open for approximately five years. The store has been here approximately five years. I've been here for approximately five years um, and the, the things we do for the community are great. I'm a homeowner. Um, I have five children, a wife, four bedroom house, and if it wasn't for Habitat, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. Um, well, when I came to the house, I didn't imagine it would look like this. I thought it would just be like foundation and, you know. As soon as we got in, there was no floor. So I'm thinking there's a lot of work that needs to be done. We uh, took out the bathtub. We took out the paneling from the bathtub and we took out the insulation and we had to walk around on wooden planks. So we were told that we had to put the floors in 
So right now I'm cutting up the wood and then we're gonna use that to make the floors. We were on joists the whole time and then when we left we had a lot more floor than we did. And I'm not sore yet. <laughs> Still got a whole week to go. Right now we just came back from well, the work sites. Uh, we're just having fun, re recreational activities. So it's football, basketball, volleyball, and like right now we're helping Jerome look for fire for the fire pit, um, wood for the fire pit. My birthday surprise, it surprised the hell out of me. I had no idea anything was coming. I had a card, a huge card about this big, this wide, yay tall, and I had an ice cream cake. They came out singing happy birthday to me. <laughs> you could start singing now. Start singing, start singing. Sing, sing. My birthday, they were like, they started hanging, singing happy birthday. It was the best birthday I've had in 18 years of my life. As you can see, the weather has uh, kind of affected things. We're not able to work this morning because of all this. So we're just going to wait inside for a while and uh, hopefully uh, the rain passes. We started two hours later because of the rain. But like uh, in the end, um, we managed to, me and Alex managed to cut and build um, the air conditioning unit. Um, he used most of the power tools that I just gave him most of the supplies. And uh, we built this, um, I think, air conditioner unit. And um, it took uh, like for the um, four hours we worked today, or uh, four or five hours we worked today, we were just, you know, sit there exhausted you know, and just, you know, be happy about, um, like, about the tremendous achievement we achieved. So overall today was a pretty good day. Um, even though I hurt myself, I was still laughing about it. I got my finger wrapped up. I got an infection called cellulitis. Uh, it happened from yesterday and it grew and got worse and really nasty and I had to go to the doctor, which was pretty bad. And after that, right when I was coming back, uh, James got hurt and James got a nail in his foot so I got to work maybe a couple hours and then I had to go and get this taken care of and we got a lot done we organized uh, a, a shed and we just got a lot of work done even though we got a lot of injured people today we actually went to a warehouse and actually cleaned up because today there was because it started raining so we and we're not allowed to work on a wet site so we fixed up on the warehouse we had to actually destroy those structures and like take out the planks and the nails and stuff just like the day before all right we're on day four of our trip and day three of hard work and as you can see by some of the kids sleeping here uh, they're a little tired from everything that we've done but we're going to be fired up and we're going to continue to work hard right guys yeah. I'm helping out the family, Adam's family, and basically what we're doing is I cut down the woods to make a perimeter, and then I nail down those to combine them. Well, I feel really good right now. Last night I had really no sleep, but feeling much better. I'm a little sick, but oh well, the work has to go on, so I'm good. All right. Well, um, this wood there, Muhammad's getting the measurements right now, so we can cut them and then put them on the borders. This is gonna be the first floor of the house, so this is just the base right now. All right, we were supposed to cut the wood off so that we have the perfect dim dimensions for um, the base, but we kind of like a little bit messed up. Our but look is a gone. bit a bit longer, so we have to cut it a bit more with the power tool. Moved a lot of wood, dug a lot of dirt. That's about it. 945 high five break. Alright, so yeah, it was, a, it was a decent week. We got some things done. Uh, floor is almost finished. That we've uh, been working on for three weeks. Yeah, so we're done now. Happy that it's almost done. The week was a pleasure. Uh, we got done way more than I expected. We finished the entire uh, uh, framing of the floor, and I just didn't think we were gonna get that far. And they were, everyone was awesome. Uh, and it was just a great week in general. And 
It's too bad we had a few injuries, but everyone bounced back from it, and uh, and look where we're at. So, uh, yeah, thanks for a great week. Well, it's Friday night, and we're at the midpoint of our trip. Everything is going wonderful. The food's great. The kids have been behaving uh, just amazing. They've been getting up. Uh, required to get up at 6. Some of them are getting up at 5, 5.15. So that's going uh, better than expected. As far as the, uh, the workload and what's going on while building, we have a couple of volunteers here from Group A and Group B that can better describe um, the hard work and diligence that's currently taking place. Oh, and one more thing. The weather, especially today, phenomenal, as you could see by my very red face that I forgot to cover with suntan lotion. But anyway, we have Wilfredo from Group A and Nicholas from Group B. Well, Group A, uh, we've been working from the ground up. Uh, we pretty much built the house from, built the first floor of a house. Today we finished the frame of the house and we're starting the first floor. We're all pitching in, we're all switching up jobs, we're all participating in each other's activity. We are a like a, a real family team. Like we're all trying to back each other up so we can get this thing done as fast as we can. You know, we had to tear out uh, floors and bathtubs and put in new floors, hammer nails, put in glue and everything and all that. And you can see I hammered some fingers, so. But you know, we're all working together, keeping each other safe, working hard, and we're having a good time doing it. After the first day, you start getting a hang of it, and you know, you know like the tools, what they're for, the terminology, and what you should, you should be doing and not doing, so. It feels good when you actually know what you're doing, making a difference. Today we went to Vera's and we ate a bunch of seafood. After eating at Vera's, we went to a rollerblading place, which was like a block away from it. And everyone, no one, basically no one knew how to rollerblade, but it was really fun. We are at Skaters Paradise. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, skating was a new world skates a new was a new experience for me. I never did it before. But it was somewhat like ice skating, but a little bit easier but also a little bit harder at the same time. Well, my ten year old started, so this is what we got. Welcome to New Orleans. Welcome to New Orleans. Welcome to New Orleans. Welcome to New Orleans, baby. Welcome to New Orleans. So today is our final day in Louisiana, and what we're doing is we took everyone to New Orleans, downtown New Orleans, French Quarter. Students are going to have an opportunity today to go shopping, um, visit the French Market. We've already gone to Cafe Du Monde. We're going to the Cabildo, where the Louisiana Purchase was signed. We're also witnessing behind me, or actually behind you, the oldest Catholic church in America. And um, basically students are going to have an opportunity to see New Orleans and after they do their shopping we're going to take a Hurricane Katrina tour so that they can see the devastation that still exists down here. We're now in the French Quarter of New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans is pretty cool. It's kind of like the, the New York City but on a smaller scale. There's uh, street performers, um, there's this umbrella lady, uh, there's singers, uh, instrument players while you were eating, so that was nice. I think that was a nice change where there was um, singers singing while you uh, eat. The market there was pretty cool, it was unique. Uh, there's, it was a long, a long uh, path of, of uh, vendors there giving out um, souvenirs. Well, Ms. Gardner told us that we were going to get a whole bunch of like powdered sugar all over the place. And I didn't, but it was like, it was sweet. It was different. 
I've seen some improvements in the areas uh, most hit by Hurricane Katrina, the upper ninth ward and the lower ninth ward. I've seen some changes in terms of the amount of houses that have been built, uh, but unfortunately, uh, by especially what we witnessed today during our tour, there's just so much work that needs to be done, and there's so many people that still have not got back, got excuse me, that still have not gotten back to their homes. They were just like pieces of grass that like that weren't that were houses there that it looks like the size of a house and it's just a piece of grass that doesn't have anything on it and there's like no purpose for it being there. John was great. He also was extremely cooperative. He would let us uh, stay later um, during the day. He would take us to different stores. One night he stayed with us till 10, 15, um, which allowed us to go out to eat and then also go roller skating. So he was, he was a pleasure to work with and I appreciate him for being so accommodating. Um, as you can see, um, we're trying to get some wood for our bonfire this night. Um, we'll be doing a lot of work, although we have a lot of wood out there, we're just trying to get some backup wood because we never know, we don't know how long we're going to stay outside, so yeah. It's me, Mark, and Wilfredo, we're the main people doing it, if anyone wants to take credit for it. Thank you! You're welcome, dear. Mm, I'm up to two already. How many do you think I can have? I think you can have four. Five! Oh my goodness. Dion, just gonna come over here. Boy! 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 Don't have a heart. These are sweet potato chips are tasting good by the bonfire, man. I love me some potatoes. I was sitting on the cool bench. Who wants more told us what to do and like helped us out with whatever we needed help with and yeah. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Jerome is the fastest and hardest working guy I will know and you're making me nervous get away <laughs> My name is Paul Goldsman. I'm the, one of the guidance counts. I'm looking at you, right? Yeah. <laughs> the hammer I broke. Oh, and a piece of the screwdriver that Alex broke. So we're working so He's hard. He's exaggerating that a little bit. <laughs> oh, a lot. No. <laughs> when you come back to New Orleans, if you saw me do that, see ya.
Future and our goals inside. 